Okay, so before we start this video, I just want to say we are not going to be reacting to any videos. I'm just going to give my reasoning of why I think these YouTubers, or this, this YouTuber I should say, should be permanently banned from YouTube. Uh, I'll give my reasoning in the video. Uh, so let's begin of why I think this YouTuber should be permanently banned from YouTube. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off the video by set talking about J Station. If you don't know who J Station is, he's pretty much a 3am YouTuber trying to contact fictional characters with a Ouija board at 3am, FaceTiming fictional characters at 3am, like, I, I don't know, Spongebob or something. So he's one of those YouTubers calling fictional characters at 3am and trying to play it off as real, even though it's so obviously fake. Now, this, now, he actually did get permanently banned from YouTube, I think, because I looked him up, and there was no remnants of the actual J Station on YouTube. There are copycats of J Station, which we'll be getting into in a minute, but there's no uh, actual real J Station on YouTube, only copycats, so he did get permanently banned, and the reason for that being is because he would exploit famous celebrity deaths for views, such as XXXTentacion, Mac Miller, and I think a whole bunch of others. I think he did uh, Juice World and Etika, I think. He, like, so what he did was, like, not even a full 24 hours after they died, he would have a video out of trying to contact that famous celebrity who died on a Ouija board at 3 a.m., like XXXTentacion, Mac Miller, uh, Juice World, Etika, I think. Um, not too, I think he did Etika. Um, but he, he's just a terrible YouTuber for doing this. I mean, exploiting someone's death for views and clicks, it's not the right thing to do. And that's, I think, why he got banned. Maybe there's some other reasons. But he also faked his girlfriend's death. So back in early 2020, J Station came out with a video of saying his go girlfriend died in a car accident. Like a drunk driver hit her, I think, and killed her. Uh, but it turns out he was completely lying. And his go girlfriend can't speak. His girlfriend was perfectly fine. Safe, healthy, happy. He lied. He faked his girlfriend's death for clicks and views. Not, again, not a good thing. Uh, so, the end of story is he got banned, permanently banned from YouTube. And that I think those were the reasons people just weren't a fan of them. He got a lot of hate. When I say a lot of hate, he got a lot of hate for exploiting those celebrity deaths for views. And he especially got a lot of hate for doing this. He got a lot of hate in general for just making regular content uh, because it was so obviously fake and this is fake to him faking his girlfriend's death and it's a terrible thing to exploit someone's death reviews like XXXTentacion and all those other people. Um, <clears throat> but let's get on to the J Station copycat here and why I think they should also get permanently banned from YouTube. So here we have I'm Fake Station, a channel completely copying off of J Station, which it's not a good idea to copy off of J Station's content because I think that uh, ended him in getting banned, permanently banned from YouTube, as I've explained. Uh, but apparently they quit two months ago. Goodbye for now, the end, what's next, moving on. They haven't done a video in two months, which it's the best news I've heard. In two months, um, but they do th creepy three a.m. Not creepy, I should say, cringe. Three a.m. videos, and they did like five videos on Phantasm, the Tall Man, which I recently watched all five of the Phantasm movies. I suggest you go watch them. Um, but they did like five videos on the Phantasm, Tall Man from the Phantasm movies. Do not call them at three a.m. Do not Facetime them. Do not uh uh watch the movie at 3 a.m. Do not watch the Phantasm movie at 3 a.m. Uh, but they just copy off of Jace and they, they have Jace Station's face in the thumbnail. Meanwhile, they look nothing like Jace Station. I'll show you what these guys look like. So this is what these 
guys look like in real life. Obviously, they look nothing like J-Station. They don't look anything like J-Station. Uh, but they have J-Station's face in the thumbnail. Complete, uh, a completely misleading thumbnail, in my opinion. Obviously a misleading thumbnail. Uh, they have J-Station's face and they don't even look like J-Station. Complete misleading thumbnail, for starters. And second of all, they exploit people's deaths. You heard it here. But first of all, before we get into that, the production quality of these videos. Let me just explain what these videos look like because I've watched some of them. It was painful to watch them all. Uh, but I watched, like, I tried to watch all five Phantasm videos they did. Completely unbearable. I, I like, finished one and I barely finished two. I couldn't, some of them, I couldn't even get to the halfway point before just saying, I can't watch this anymore. That's how awful the production quality is on these videos. The production quality on these videos is a, a zero. It's a zero. It's awful. Production quality, awful. They put no effort into their videos. Uh, so obviously fake. Uh, it's a, a, a one-year-old could tell that this video, if I, if I show, if I were to show one of fake stations videos to a one-year-old they would think it's fake and they can't even talk but they would think it's completely fake that's how that's how fake these videos are um i would probably believe that j stations 3am videos are real rather than these guys 3am videos um but back to them exploiting people's deaths i'll show you Okay, first of all, I didn't even know this video existed, but it just goes to show you how scummy these people are and what they'll do for views. They did a video saying, drone catches a one runaway slave at 3am. That is how scummy these people are. Sure, the video is four seconds long, but who looks at the time of a YouTube video to see how long it is? No, you just see a video, you click on it, and you watch it. You don't care how long it is. No one does that, at least I don't do that. Um, but it's sure it's four seconds long, like I said, but it's still terrible to say. It's a terrible video to have on your page. Drone catches a runaway slave at 3 a.m. How, how low can you get for content? Here's another one. Do not do a Ouija board on Brianna Taylor at 3 a.m. Again, a six second video for some reason, and there's a video to the left of that about leeches, I think, that's only two seconds, why they're doing like a two second video, I don't know, maybe it's to clickbait, they see a video like this, and they say, oh, I'm, I'm gonna see what this is, this seems awful to do, they click on it, it's, it's uh, six seconds long, so it's not only are they clickbaiting you, which isn't the problem here, the problem is they're exploiting Brianna Taylor's death reviews, that's the problem, the problem, I mean, the main problem is this, but the problem isn't them clickbaiting us into thinking this is like a 10 minute video or something. That's not the problem. The problem is them exploiting her death reviews. That's the problem. They, you got, I mean, again, how low can you get for views? How desperate are you for views that you exploit someone's death for views? Again, like I said, these are J Station copycats and they literally copied almost everything he did content-wise. Fake 3am challenges, cringe content, and exploiting people's death for views. That's what the, that's what JStation did, and that's what they're doing. That's why I feel like it would be better for the YouTube community if their content wasn't on YouTube. If these guys were to just get permanently banned, honestly. If these guys were to just get permanently banned from YouTube and all their videos got taken down, YouTube would be a much better platform than it was when these guys were on. But I'd, I've just come to shed light on why I think these guys should be banned, and this is one, this is a lot of reasons here. But what do you guys think? Do you think these guys should be permanently banned from YouTube? Do you think they shouldn't? I don't know why you wouldn't think that, because, I mean, look, look at the content they're putting out. Um, but... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I don't know what happened to my voice there. I love you guys. Take care. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below of what you think of this. See you guys in the next one.
Peace. I don't think I need to mention this, but uh, you thought it was the end of the video, it's not. But I think I definitely need to mention this. They also exploited Chadwick Bosman's death or Bozeman's death uh, for views. Again, not a, not a nice thing to do. It's a terrible thing to do, in fact. Um, not that it makes much of a difference, but it is a full 10 minute video, not that that matters. Um, I haven't watched it, obviously. I don't want to watch it because it would just make me sick of the type of content these people do for views. Again, exploiting people's death, deaths for views. Not the best thing to do. Wouldn't recommend it. It's a terrible thing to do. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace for all this time.